hello don't ever leave your house hmm? your comfort zone your safe space <laughs> even that your safe space right can be encroach upon this can come there i believe in the power of jesus christ hey it's not a joke i believe in the, in the grace in the, in the blood of jesus i believe in the power in the blood of jesus to save and to redeem and to reconstruct renegotiate and so i'm just telling you that don't leave your house without covering yourself with the blood of jesus covering yourself under a protective shade i know that it is written in scripture that the strength of god is made perfect in our weakness in your weakness not when you are able to defend yourself galatians chapter 5 verse 1 or say as for freedom christ has given you freedom therefore you stand firm and don't ever restrict yourself under any yoke of slavery again haven't you ever realized that sometimes when you leave your house you step it out and then your countenance changes like ah all of a sudden i feel some way you enter your car you be like no something has changed around me you enter your office sometimes your child goes to school then they come back and all of a sudden they have changed <laughs> and you wonder why there are certain there are certain things called subtle energy saying if you read ephesians chapter 6 verse 12 it will tell you there are some powers you can't see there are some that thrown at you are sometimes you just go and stand in the line of fire you become collateral damage you enter a certain space and you attract the aggression it just messes with your mental space it messes your spiritual balance before you leave your home cover yourself cover your husband before your husband goes out cover him with the blood of jesus before your children step out of that house cover them with the blood of jesus before your wife steps out of your house cover them because the bible says that you can't go into a strong man's house unless you find them your house is your safe space but when you're stepping out of your house you are praying your children leave your home and they are praying if you don't cover them you don't put the covering on their head you expose them we expose ourselves all the time because we refuse to take our stand, we refuse to take our spiritual authority, we refuse to stand and say, you cannot touch me. Don't let anything take free range upon you because you are viable land. They just come and they sit on you and start. No. You know what happened in Exodus when the Israelites were leaving Egypt? And then the angel of death came. It is a subtle spirit. They couldn't see it, but they felt it. It entered in Egypt and it killed all their firstborns. God knows this. So he told the Israelites, cover yourself with the blood, blood of the lamb. And that blood of the lamb warded off a subtle energy of death that came to the come of the Egyptians. And when you go to the Israelites, when you saw the blood, it passed. Cover yourself with the blood of Jesus. Cover your children with the blood of Jesus. As you step out of your comfort zone, don't leave it to chance. Even if they're not around you, still cover them. Let the blood speak on their behalf. It works.